Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time we are going to unbox the Huawei Band 2 Pro. Now there are two variants, the Huawei Band 2 and the Band 2 Pro. The difference is the built-in GPS. So the Band 2 does not have a built-in GPS, the Band 2 Pro has a built-in GPS. Uh, but there's a significant price difference. Now uh, the Band 2 is for 4500 MRP. Uh, the Band 2 Pro is 6,999, so basically 7,000 rupees MRP. So there's a 2,500 rupees difference. So choose wisely. I'll tell you about uh, GPS and why you need it or uh, why you don't need it. So it's on you if you want to choose it or not. So let's go ahead and see what all do you get with this. It's a plain box. Uh, you have a few things written over here, but the same things are at the back. So we'll just go to the back. Uh, so it's got running with standalone GPS on this model. Uh, you can enjoy swimming at 5 ATM water resistant. So ATM is atmosphere, so 5 atmosphere. Now this is generally seen on a Pebble watch. So even a Pebble says 5 ATM. So this is not seen on your regular smart watches, Fitbits and uh, whatever bands you get. You don't get 5 ATMs uh, in it. We'll discuss about 5 ATMs later on. Uh, now first beat running guidance. So it's got running guidance. Uh, training uh, effects, all these things we'll check later on when one uh, once we start testing it. Uh, 21 days of battery life, so that's good. 21 days of battery life with a uh, heart rate monitor. Okay, we'll talk about that later on. Scientific uh, sleep tracking. Relax yourself with uh, breath instruction. So okay, so it's got that breathing function that uh, the Charge 2 also has, and smart notifications. Hopefully. This has uh, actual notification that works for both iPhone and uh, Android, uh, not like the uh, Fitbit. Uh, if you want to see that uh, Fitbit video, please click on the link on top. You will know what I'm talking about, the notification problem. Uh, okay, so that's basically it. Uh, one more good thing about this is which I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, it's there. So it's got a continuous heart rate monitor. So uh, that's missing from most of the bands like the uh, MI bands you do not have a continuous heart rate monitor you have to press the button to get your heart rate this will give you continuous heart rate um, uh, every time so let's go ahead open it up and see what all do you get with this now okay from here okay. so open here okay plain and simple keep that aside so that's the band itself and it's super light. Uh, I didn't really expect it to be that light but it's very light. Uh, we'll talk about the build quality later on. Let's see what else do you get with this. Mm, okay. Okay, so that's the charging cradle, a micro USB cable and a pamphlet. So you got uh, you get your warranty card and your quick start guide. Okay, so we'll go through that later on. Mm, let me check the warranty card. Uh, host charger. Okay, so uh, twelve months of the charger warranty. Data cable is uh, six months. Uh, sorry, three months warranty. Your battery on the band is for six months so you got a six months warranty for that okay so let's talk about the build quality of the band now the build quality is pretty good uh, the bands are pretty strong sturdy very flexible uh, they do not look cheap the there's no manufacturing defects kind of thing where they're coming out from uh, from the sides so those are really good um, this is glass I don't know whether it's glass or plastic that we'll come to know later on. It's got a metal strip on both the sides. But one complaint about that is it it's not very flush. So you can actually feel it like this. It may hurt you. Uh, over here, I don't know if you're able to see it. But it is uh, protruding out a little. So that may hurt you. Um, even the band. A little bit. It's uh, Over here, it's a little bit above the screen. So I can feel that. Uh, that should have been taken care of but it's not that bad uh, I'm just nitpicking right now because I can't really find much of a problem now the GPS is inside this now it's amazing how they put a GPS tracker uh, and still uh, kept the size this small 
normally you don't get uh, trackers which are this small with a GPS uh, built into it so that's good uh, this entire thing is plastic it's got a glass uh, sensor over here you've got two uh, LED lights on both the sides and a big sensor which can uh, get your heart rate correctly now one more thing I'll have to uh, tell you uh, is that the heart rate monitor is uh, very good uh, like uh, I've used Fitbits I've used uh, Mi Bands now uh, one thing I've always noticed is in my, in my Mi Band I have to keep correcting the uh, position and then keep checking for the heart rate it keeps telling me to move it uh, correct it can't find your heart rate so it can't really find my heart rate every time but this one I haven't got one error till now so it has got my heart rate every single time now I've only used it for one day so I can't really comment much I'll be able to tell you uh, later on uh, in my rest of the test that I'll do uh, one more thing the screen is actually that small uh, it's not as big as this I don't know if you can yes you can see the reflection now that's how small the screen is uh, at first I did not like it but now I'm gone used to it um, it is pretty good uh, the size itself is smaller than a Fitbit charge 2 and uh, I think it's almost close to the Fitbit Ultra so the Ultra HR and this one uh, they both look alike uh, I think that's what they were targeting at but uh, whatever it is I'm happy uh, the band works pretty well. The build quality is very good uh, for now. Let's see how long will it last with my test. Okay, let's talk about the band features. So the band gives you seven options. Uh, you do not get more than seven. Let me just show you. Uh, notification management. Oh, no, notification. Uh, function. So these are the seven functions. Daily tracking, heart rate, breath. Uh, swim, indoor run, outdoor run and outdoor cycle. So these are the ones available. You get an add button below. You press that. There are no options available. Maybe in future they might add it. Uh, yes, you can remove one of them from here and then press add Then you will see that option here. So in total seven are available. Uh, no more options uh, other than seven options. You do not have an option of customizing your uh, clock. So this is the default uh, home screen. So let's see those options on the watch itself. Uh, on the band sorry on the band itself now that is your uh, daily tracking uh, heart rate monitor your breath breath training uh, swimming indoor run outdoor run outdoor cycle after that it'll go back to the time again so those are the options available okay so how to navigate now uh, all the menus have a sub menu in it so if I go into any one of the menu and keep this pressed it activates that option now I don't want to use this one let me show you another option okay okay so in swim I'll go and activate it now it's activated but it, uh, it'll only start when I double tap it so I'll double tap it and it starts uh, one reason why you have that option is because the band does not work underwater because your fingerprint uh, will not register your finger will not register so you will have to tap it so now I've tapped it it started now I'll double tap it again and it'll stop so uh, it has a double tap option and a, a touch option to change the menus now I'm in the run option I'll keep this pressed and it starts now, one more thing that I've noticed is whenever the exercise starts, the heart rate monitor is always on. So, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, one more thing I'd like to uh, tell you is it does not have a always on heart rate monitor. It has a, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's somewhere in between. It's not a, a monitor which ha you have to keep putting it on every time but I've noticed that whenever I'm moving a lot it the heart rate monitor automatically comes on when I'm idle then it goes off so uh, it, it it's intelligent kind of a heart rate monitor before I did not like it I thought uh, because uh, it's not exactly uh, always on heart rate monitor because that's what it was advertised on the box but I, I kind of like it now after I used it for a day uh, because that conserves the battery a lot and I don't really need my heart rate uh, when I'm sitting idle uh, it does take a idle heart rate also for your resting heart rate and then uh, shows that in the app uh, we'll go through the app and we'll talk about all the features that are available 
so we'll do that later on okay so the initial impression is very good uh, this is not as good as a Fitbit because uh, one more thing that I noticed was it does not have a centralized account where I, I can't use uh, the same account on this phone and this phone and this phone and this phone I'll uh, be able to use on all of them separately as in this is a tracker which works standalone with devices it will not be centralized you cannot sync your data so like the fitbit and uh, the mi software are centralized so you have a email account and a password you log in with that uh, and then it is there on the server so whichever device you log in with your data is available there and then you can continue with another device uh, with this you cannot do that uh, the uh, device keeps the data it will not give it to anyone else. Yes, you can synchronize it with the uh, uh, third party apps like, uh, oh, let me just show you what all apps does it give you. Okay. It'll give you options of mm -hmm. data sharing. Okay, so you get uh, options of uh, Up by Jawbone, uh, Google Fit, and My Fitness Pal. So these are the three options that you uh, get. So I use Google Fit for uh, for now because I don't like the inbuilt option, inbuilt one over here. It does give you a few things, but it's not as good as the Fitbit one. So sensor wise, hardware wise, everything else, it is good. Uh, I really like the band. Software wise, I don't like it that much. So it, it does not come close to even the Mi Band. So Mi Band and Fitbit software wise is much ahead of this one. Uh, but yes, hardware wise, uh, all the sensors that it has, it's much better than the Mi Band, uh, any Mi Band that you choose, uh, the Mi Band 2, Mi Band Hirtik version or the or whichever Mi Band, not the watch, just the band. Uh, but it does not really uh, live up to the expectation of uh, coming close to a Fitbit. So if you want something which is better than a Mi Band, uh, but not as expensive as a Fitbit, then you can go for this so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye